the shower pan has arrived. It's a very long shower pan. And we had to order it from, where did we order it from, Jeff? Etrailer.com. Etrailer.com. And then we're putting in concrete slab walls. Put cement board. Cement, oh, cement board. <laughs> to uh, prep for the red tape. Red guard. Red guard. I just know the basic terms, like the simplization. <laughs> what? <laughs> We have a hole in our bus. So working on the drain assembly. I've got the drain with the plumber's putty. So that goes on that side, obviously. How it would in a normal shower. Then on the back side, first you put on the rubber washer. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then this paper cardboard looking thing. You could get mistaken thinking this is this like rubbish, because it's like cardboard, but you need it. It allows it to spin when you're tightening. Then the little nut. Tighten this up and get your murder, murder weapon. Then just take off the excess plumber's putty. And then you can play with it after if you want, because that's what I'm going to do. That. Thank you very much. I love silly putty. And then back to the back, we've got this little section that I've already cut, that basically sits flush with the underside of the bus. And then we've got the plastic washer, so that's just going to sit inside this one. This will then sit on there with the nut. And it slots on there. Like a glove. So this will stick through the floor. Then from the underside of the bus, I'll attach this adapter with plumber's cement. And then this will go into a inch and a half P-trap under the bus and then to the grey water tank. Pretty simple. We're going to glue this bad boy in the bathroom now because once the cement board is on the outside, it'll hold everything in place. Tell them what you're doing, Jeff. Putting on some net, some net stuff. Yeah. So the cement board is in. Now I'm just taping up all the joints before we cover it in red guard. Fun stuff. Making a potion. In our handy dandy electricity. This is your version of bacon. <laughs> Get your glob, you get some muscle. Beautiful. So we decided to go with an overlapping subway pattern. It was pretty simple, except for the fact that sometimes I got really bored and I messed up a couple times. Jamie had to come over and fix it for me. So uh, first time tiling wasn't so bad, but definitely just make sure you pay attention to each row. So I'm just here editing the video and I realized we didn't actually get much footage past this point. But all we did was grouted the tile, cleaned it, put the shower head in, the diverter in, like the handle on the shower, and then did the same process for the floor tile put mortar on the floor, put tile on the floor, then grouted that. And that was pretty much our bathroom done. Back to the video. What you want? Baby, I got it. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> the shower's done. 